Welcome back to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers at Zinnia Wealth online, zinniawealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A wealth.com. Visit our website. There's a lot to tool around there and learn about. There's a uh, tab there that says education. When you click on that, there's one that says useful guides. And you go there and there's tons of stuff that you can download about Social Security and Medicare and 401ks and all sorts of different things that you deal with in retirement. Check our website, zinniawealth.com. All right. So we've said it many times. Your biggest retirement asset is probably going to be your 401k. What do we do with our 401k? How do we make that last? How do we treat it in retirement? Sharice, we've got four ideas here that I think people probably need to explore. Yes. So let's start with the first one. I like this, Randy. It says, take a full cash taxable distribution. Mm. So I have (laughs) met people in the last 20 years and being in this industry, and they said, we just cashed it out. I'm like, what do you mean you cashed it out? Like, well, they just sent us a check. We put it into the bank. I'm like, Uh-oh. um, and, and it, I, I remember one of the first times I ever heard it. He's like, yeah, it was like a million dollars. I said, yeah, but how much did you lose in taxes? And he says, uh, about 400,000. I'm like, so you're okay with that 400,000 just going goodbye. Like they didn't even roll it to a Roth. They just cashed out, put it in their bank. And he's like, well, I didn't know if you want to know the true Sharice. I just took the distribution, not realizing it should have been rolled or probably would have rolled. They just didn't know. Well, this is one of those things people say, I want to pay off my house in retirement. Look at all that money in the 401k. I'll just take it and pay off the house. Well, you just gave yourself a huge tax bill too, didn't you? Yeah. And I was surprised because I had a really good job and you think this would have been taught. Like this was clear. Mm -hmm. Like you don't do this. And because he was retired and he just thought that now it's his, um, he knew there was no penalty. But he didn't realize how big that tax ramification was going to be. He just never considered it. And, of course, he had 60 days to get it back in, but he didn't know that. Nobody told him until his tax bill came. So, yeah, all he knew is that they withheld 20%. He said that's what he thought his taxes were. And then at the end, the very next year when he had taxes, he's like, yeah, and I had to pay another 20%. I was like, yeah. Okay. He's like, surprise, surprise. All right, so don't take it all out at one time. Right, don't take it all at one time. Okay, number two. All right. Yes. Leave it in the current 401k plan. So if you're retired or you have old 401ks, don't leave it in your 401k plan. But I do know why you do it. And my lovely clients, especially the ones that have TSP, I don't know why you are all so married to TSP. (laughs) Whoever has a TSP, you are all very much the same. It doesn't matter what county, city, state you live in. You are all, you say the same thing and, and you come from all different types of jobs and everybody loves their TSP. They're happy there. They're happy there. And I'm happy for you, <laughs> but the G fund isn't enough. The F fund is enough. I mean, you're so limited on your funds, but they'll say, but it's done so well. I was like, yeah, but it does really bad when it's not really well. So I don't understand uh. the thinking. And so what I find out a lot of the people in the TSP, they, they like to manage their money themselves. They jump oh. from the G fund to the F fund, et cetera, and going back and forth. But they lose along the way because they, they do admit to me over time, well, I didn't get back in the market fast enough. And I, and I got out too soon. And, and there's only six plans. Maybe that's why people love the TSP is because it's simple. Okay. You know, we like simplicity. But we see people failing all the time in the TSP plans, especially when they manage it themselves. So don't be afraid to roll some of it out to an advisor that actually really knows when to make those moves and that you can lean on. You know, if you say, hey, I want to hold on to the reins a little bit and I'll keep some of the TSP and, you know, your team can do this much. And before I make any moves, I'll make sure I, you know, talk to you, Sharice. That would be fantastic. So, you know, I've been down that that road many, many times with clients. So, so that kind of brings us to number three. What if mm-hmm. I don't leave it in there and I roll it over? Where do we roll it to and why is that an advantage? Right. So this is the most popular, most common thing to do is that you have a retirement account with your employer, 401k, 403b, TSP, TACREF, you know, name it. You can roll it through this rollover form to an IRA. And that's what most people do. There's no tax implication whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Um, You can go from a higher fee where your funds are sitting right now in your 401ks to really pittance, right? Pennies on the dollar type of fees by rolling it to an exchange traded fund or index fund. I mean, on average, people save half a percent just by rolling it from a 401k to an IRA on those internal expenses, a fund fee. So that there's a big savings there. You can also use all the safe cash management options that are out there. And there's hundreds of them where you can't use that in your retirement accounts. 
And now you have more flexibility than ever. I don't know if you try to get money from your 401k before or Tia Craft or TSP or 43B. It takes an act of Congress, a form that takes two weeks to get to you and then two weeks to get to them and then two weeks before you get your money. So having that liquidity and the access to it is key, especially in retirement. Everybody complains in retirement, I want liquidity, but yet you leave it at the 401k where it's not liquid, right? right. So making those moves and being smart about it and you know how much do we move is a big, big question. So we're talking about what you can do with your 401k. You can... Take all the money out, but you got a big tax bill. You can leave it in your 401k. There's some good and some bad on that. You can roll it over into your own personal IRA, and that has some advantages as well. Number four on the list here is take that money and put it in an IRA. I want to get it out of the tax wash, and I want to use this money later when I need it, and I don't want to pay taxes. It's a good thing, but there's a lot of math that goes along with this because doing it all at once is not necessarily the answer, is it? It's not. And I have not recommended all at once ever to anybody because some people are coming in and they're on Social Security. And if you roll it all at once, we could have some pretty big taxes on Social Mm -hmm. Security. And if you're on Medicare at the same time, now you have to worry about IRMA rules and your Medicare Part B premium can go from $174 a month to $580 a month. Ouch. So it's, it's best to have a strategy when we're considering now our 401k is now an IRA. And now we want to say, you know, Sharice, I want to start rolling this to a Roth, but slowly, I don't want this big tax hit every year, but how do we do it? And how much do we do it over five years, 10 years or 15 years? And I will tell you, I had an engineer come to my village's office just the other day. And he said, you know, of all the things I did, right, I made one big mistake, Sharice. I was like, what was that? I was like, Oh, this is gonna be good. He's like, I put all of my money in a darn 401k. And back in the 90s, when I was allowed to start rolling money to a Roth, I didn't because I was looking for that tax savings then. And now I see what I've been hearing you talk about. I've got this big tax bill in my hand. He's got $2 million and now his IRA that we're managing. And we're slowly moving money over. But it's a painful process. But he's adamant doing this because he said he's going to make the same tax mistake if he doesn't do this now, especially if taxes keep going up over the next 30 years in retirement. So he sees the math. And I tell you that story to encourage you. A lot of people across the country are now thinking, oh, I wish I would have. I wish I, I wish I wish. Listen, it's not too late. Even, you can roll over those 401ks to a Roth if you want to. We can help you do that. You just pay the taxes on it. Even if you're under 59 and a half, Randy, I don't know if you know this, but if you do a rollover from a 401k to a Roth IRA, you don't have to pay that 10% penalty to do the rollover because you're not quite 59 and a half yet. So they allow you to do it with a special rollover form. And so before you go and do that, come see us. We'll do the math on how much does it make sense? How much is that going to affect your Social Security taxes? Do we have to worry about Medicare and IRMA? You might be retired, not collecting Social Security, maybe living off some savings or trying to figure out, well, where do I live off first? This could be a prime opportunity for you to come in and see us so we can say, well, if you're going to live off this cash, this is a great time to consider rolling some of this IRA money over to a Roth. So we get really excited when we're talking about the tax plan because there's so many strategies and when um, you don't have the largest income because now we're like in this middle ground retirement zone and you haven't quite turned on that pension or you can't get it yet or you haven't quite turned on Social Security is a real prime time to really consider that plan. And a lot of people forget that they can and they just think, oh, a tax bill, tax bill, tax bill, but your tax bill will be lower in times like that. Well, we're talking about taxes because taxes in your regular working years are different than taxes in your retirement years. And Sharice has just given you a whole bunch of options on how to save money in taxes. It's an important part of a retirement plan. It's certainly part of our retirement plan. It should be part of yours. Thanks for listening to the Retirement Coffee Talk podcast. If you have questions or would like to begin the process of building a tailored retirement plan, call Zinnia Wealth at 803-368-3680 or find us online at zinniawealth.com. 
Sharice Rivers is an investment advisor representative of Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Exposure to ideas and financial vehicles discussed should not be considered investment advice or recommendation to buy or sell any financial vehicle. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Investments can fluctuate and when redeemed may be worth more or less than when originally invested. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if Sharice Rivers is licensed in your state, please contact their office. Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Any client experiences discussed during this show are unique to that client. They are not meant to imply or suggest you will experience the same results. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Sharice Rivers. NPN Insurance License Number 8718011.